It's a scenario that many people fear losing their jobs to robots. But as students learned on a field trip today, robotic technology is poised to really help the industry. Two News reporter Jake Crown working for you, finding out how robots are impacting manufacturing. Inside the Yaskawa Moto Man plant in Miamisburg. When we first came, I didn't know like what to expect. 350 students. They move so fast and can do such like precise things over and over and over again. Meet the ever-changing face of the manufacturing industry, robots. More than a dozen on this field trip that made Jason Farmer jealous. Uh, my similar experience was going to uh, a campground and getting to make soap. These days, science, technology, engineering, and math students, or STEM, are buzzing over robotic demonstrations. This giant robotic arm is just one of more than a dozen robots that are on display today for students to see, and it's the future of manufacturing jobs here in the Miami Valley. Farmer says he'd bet the house on the industry's future, and it's still in need of workers. And it's really not that, that robots replace jobs, it's that we're bringing uh, higher level jobs to the work a workforce that exists right now at places like Crown Lift Trucks in New Bremen, where they're already using robotic equipment. As for the students, I could definitely see myself like involved in this field. Like John Rudd. It doesn't require a lot of like direct people to people action, and you can get a lot of work done in a small amount of time. The robots are a symbol of adaptation, efficiency, and could be a big relief for an industry that needs it. Uh, robots provide them an opportunity of of being put into a job that uh, might more, add more value for the company and uh, are higher skilled jobs. A future that still requires the work of skilled hands. Jake Ryle, 2 News, working for you.